Hey, good Fox here. Today we got a review of Ultimate Legend boss Darnell Docket. We can take a look at his stats. He is not chemmed out at all here on the right. His regular Ultimate Legends plus ones and plus twos a little bit lower uh, overall than this. A little bit going for a little bit less than this. Not too much though. Uh, this one got pretty decent stats. Fully chemmed out. He can get up to 97 block shed and 98 power move. I suggest trying to get those up as high as possible. Or you can get yourself a Motivator Vernon and a Motivator Donald team out. Make a nice little tandem here. Getting those power move and uh, block shed as high as possible is always a great thing to do. Uh, but there is Play Rec 95, Pursuit 92, along with all those other stats. He's right in the smack dab middle of my defense there. So he's going to be taking on... Um, centers, guards, frequently, he's getting double, triple team, there he got released there, seems like it is pretty good against those double teams in the pass rush with the power move, being able to push past it, um, some decent one-on-one -on -one rushes, I'm going to show some just regular pass plays, that one he got uh, disengaged there on the block, he's frequently slanting one way or the other, there the center swallowed him up, and you really can't expect the pass rush every single time out of your D-line, um, uh, I would say, Versus like Donald, when Donald first came out, I don't think this docket dominates quite the same way as that. That was a nice little disengage in the run, but he just a little too late with it. Um, Clint Oldenburg said that the block shed not only determines if they'll disengage, but how quickly they'll disengage. So him having you know less than 99, obviously the ideal. He won't uh, disengage as quick as you'd want to, but I mean he's going for quite a bit, of, a lot of coins for a D lineman. Uh, 645 on the Xbox One for this boss card. Um, and I don't know what you guys feel about Lyman and how big of a difference they make in this game. I think to an extent they matter quite a bit. Like, there's a nice shed. Um, but overall, it depends really how much your uh, team is worth. But defensive line and offensive line are, are some of the less valuable places. Like, less valuable than, like, say, user. I don't know. Probably D-lines might be more valuable than corner this year, though. Just because corner, once you get speed and block shit enough out of corner... Um, you really can't. Uh, you really don't need to do much more there, in my opinion. So having a good stout front line is important. This docket though will get pushed around though in the run game, in the pass game. He's not like he won't show up for you every play, but he'll show up a couple times a game. That's really what you can ask out of a D lineman to show up a couple times a game. Like which is when you think about it in real life, getting one sack a game is pretty darn good for a D lineman. There he is getting shed right up, getting some good pressure on the quarterback there. Um, but overall, I mean, like, his traits, too, not terrible, not the best one, but he's got bull rush traits, none of the fancy finesse move traits, um, but he doesn't have finesse move uh, anyways. So, uh, I, overall, I liked Docket, but I think he's a little too expensive for what you're going to get on the field for production-wise. So, overall, out of 10, I give this a Docket an 8.5. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.